So first thing, if, if you haven't already built this, that's great. Uh, if you are, I've already uh, built the the main modular unit and have to take it apart. You are going to unfortunately have to unbolt it and take a lot of it apart uh, because some of the screws are hidden behind. So I've just dismounted it from the enclosure. Uh, Make sure your power is off, especially if you've got a pie, because your pie is likely to um, touch the stainless as you're taking it off, because the circuit board sticks out a little bit. So make sure everything is powered off and unplugged uh, before you do anything. So I'm now going to take off the side uh, screws here and here. Uh, probably have to do undo some of the uh, underneath screws as well, just to get the side off. So I've undone a few parts and been able to slot on the Prusa box version which is the W1219 uh, sensor and the PWM fan speed controller so this is what it looks like obviously I wouldn't normally print it in this colour but I won't actually be using this unit myself so I've just printed it in a, a spare colour and it helps you to just to see what the module looks like so let's have a quick look here and I think it looks pretty good let's try zooming out a little bit and you can see it would reach the very edge of the uh, enclosure and alternatively we have the Noctua dedicated speed controller just a, a simple uh, dial to, to vary the speed we still have the button on the side as well just with uh, this one as well so uh, we, we can turn the Pi on and off remember the, the fan actually there is a fan here uh, for cooling unfortunately there is no fan uh, on this particular version because there simply is not uh, any room to get a, a 30 mil fan in there so it's passive cooling if you use that module and let's pan out a little bit just to see what this looks like and again it goes right to the very end and I think both of them look really good so quick wiring setup for the Noctua so there's the controller it's just going to get placed in the housing so from the temperature controller that I have which is the SHT20 but you could also use uh, this controller as well the W1219 if you wanted there's no reason why you can't use that uh, so I've got a cable stripped down just using the positive and negative uh, and that will feed into the top end of the Noctua controller we can get it in there we go and then the other end which will go to the fan will be uh, this this particular end so it only goes in one way and that's it so we make sure that they are fairly folded down and it should pop in he says just like that you can see the cable is folded here the cable will fold down there and the cables can just come through this way into the main body and the retained by this retaining plate which will screw in here so that that will just keep the unit in and pressed against the front and it's not fouling the switch at all say so this is an optional switch it would have to be soldered uh, prior to fitting in 
uh, it just simply unscrews so yeah I think that works very very well okay so with the 1219 you're going to have positive in says so VCC in and then you've got negative for your 12 volts so 12 volt positive 12 volt negative and then you've got the switching circuit so when the temperature is at the desired uh, temperature it, it will close this connection so you can have also a wire going from the positive through to one of the switches and then a, a cable out going to the PWM controller now that out output will be 12 volt coming out and that can go to the 12 volt power going in equally you can connect if you want the ground wire from here to the power negative so that means you've got a couple of very short wires and then the other two connections are for the motor so positive and negative directly to the fan I'm sure other people may have other ideas of wiring up which I'm open to but that's the way I would do it and it's also covered in one of my other videos as well here's the W1219 this will be the uh, source 12 volts as if it's coming from the buck converter so positive and negative 12 volts so the positive goes into the VCC the negative goes into the one that says ground and then I've got a, a loop from the, the second wire from the, the VCC positive going to the third connection which is the the switching circuit which is activated by the relay and then I've got a, a positive cable that's going to the PWM motor controller so the negative goes to the ground connection and again I've got a negative going to the motor controller so let's have a look at these so positive and negative negative comes from the ground connection and that's going into the power negative and the positive is a switch positive so when the temperature gets to the desired temperature it will close that connection so this will become live which will activate this unit so that's power positive and then for the motor plus and minus going straight to the fan and the knob basically just controls the, the voltage that's going through the output here also remember to attach your temperature sensor because otherwise it's not going to work so let's try this out so I'm going to plug in as if I was plugging in the buck converter oh wow that looks pretty good actually hopefully you can see that I wasn't expecting dual colour when I bought it um, it seems as if it, they were both going to be different uh, same colour but that's actually nice to see it's actually quite impressive so I believe this is the current temperature and this is the set temperature now it does look like it doesn't remember the previously set temperature if it's powered off that's a bit of a shame uh, the SHT20 that I've got actually stalls the last known temperature um, so I never have to reset it but on this one looks like there's a set button and oops that's going up so let's just get it to close to what the temperature is right so I've set it at 23.7 the power knob is on so the fan should come on so if I just hold the temp end of the temperature sensor there we go and it works 
and I'm just going to hold the sensor in front hopefully that will cool down fairly quickly and there you go it's turned off I could feel the relay click and the power light that goes on here is, is turned off as well because there's no power going to it Okay guys, this is almost like a take two. After seeing the display, which I actually light, uh, I'm actually preferring this to my current solution, uh, especially as it would be at the front. So I've just reprinted the module. Previously it was in, in grey, so I've matched it up. Uh, I've just moved the Pi switch from the end plate it was previously on on the side here into this module and I'm now going to pop in the temperature controller and motor controller into this unit and add it onto the side uh, because yeah I was, I was actually really impressed with the functionality uh, so whether I keep the other temperature controller for other reasons I'm not sure of yet. I'll probably leave it there for the moment. But let's get this uh, done. The other thing is, obviously, I lose the, the fan that I had in the side of the end plate. Um, so I will be putting a fan in one of the bases. Um, I've actually modified this just so that my 30mm fan, which is quieter than the 40mm, uh, can go in. So I've reduced the size uh, and it fits rather snugly. Uh, and this will probably, although this is the Pi version, it will probably fit uh, on either end. So I would think it would be able to go on either base plate. So I'm going to get to grips with that now. So I've now popped the circuit boards in. Both of them are in. Two screws there. I've only bothered putting one screw on the PWM that's all it seems to need because it's bolted through on the shaft anyway it's wired up exactly as the mock-up that we did earlier and we've got a uh, the positive and negative feed coming in here actually coming via the switch as well uh, so that's the feed into the uh, temperature control unit uh, this is the output to the fan I'm still using the not to a fan for the moment, but I probably will go back to stock. But for the moment, I'm going to use the not to, which means I'm I'm going to uh, carry on using the uh, four pin uh, cable. And uh, this is the output for the Raspberry Pi switch. I've just had to elongate the wires. So I've attached new wires because uh, it has to reach a bit further. And finally we have the temperature sensor and I think I'll probably find a mount for that or make one uh, for the moment it'll just pop inside the enclosure as far as the the 30 mil fan going I'm going to put it under the Raspberry Pi uh, you, you may remember before I mentioned about uh, the USBs off of the Pi can the lower ones can press up against the fan but this is a slightly lower profile so it does press a little bit but it's low k if you had a 40 mil fan then i'd recommend putting it underneath the actual uh, prusa lcd display uh, as these are almost identical because uh, then you don't have a problem with room so i'm going to get the base plate in this end part in and all bolted up and we'll see what it looks like so there we go it's nice and flush fitting we've got the great display there variable knob for the motor speed and we've got the octodash and the prusa screen so i'm actually really happy with that i've still got the control box temperature box there i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet that's uh, for an another story 
and I've also got to mount the temperature sensor and you can see the temperature sensor going up with me just holding it and hopefully you're able to hear the fan, the fan going on so that works well uh, set button so a matter of setting it plus or minus for the temperature that you want it to trip at and then pressing set again so nice and straightforward very pleased with that I overall I, I prefer the look of that and there's even uh, a little light there to show that it's turned on as well and I can vary the speed with the control so there we go I hope that's useful the way I wired it up was exactly the same as we did in the demo before um, just shortening the wires to make them nice and compact inside I hope that's useful sorry if it's gone on a bit longer than uh, needed uh, but uh, hopefully that will encourage you to go ahead and get the W1219 with the PWM controller for the speed and that's normally available on eBay in the US UK etc all right thank you very much if you want to see some more videos I've got some interesting things particularly about um, cooling the power supply and also the motherboard uh, so if you want to see those please subscribe and do a like and I'll see you next time